Hello and welcome to Searching the Scriptures, a daily podcast where Bible topics will be discussed and Bible questions will be given Bible answers. No opinion, just Bible. This episode is Lesson 21 of our look at the book of 2 Corinthians. In the last episode, we covered 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 6 through 7. And in this episode, we're going to look at 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 8 through 11. And the episode will be titled, Even Though We Give, God Cares for Us. Let's read 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 8 through 11. And God is able to make all grace abound towards you, that you, always having all sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good work. As it is written, He has dispersed abroad, He has given to the poor, His righteousness remains forever. Now he that ministers seed to the sower, both ministers bread for your food, and multiplies your seed sown, increase the fruits of your righteousness, being enriched in everything to all bountifulness, which causes through, uh, which causes through us thanksgiving to God. Paul here reminds the Corinthians that even though they were the ones doing the giving, that God was the one who was taking care of them. That's an important point for not only the Corinthians to understand, but it's us to understand as well. God takes care of his people physically. Sometimes we can get to the point where we trust in ourselves to do all things here in this physical world, and then we wonder why we have trouble. Well, we need to trust in God. We need to put our faith in God that He will take care of us because God has promised to take care of us. In Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 through 34, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought of your life for what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body what you shall put on. Is not the life more than meat and the body more than clothing? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into their barns, yet, in, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much better than they? Which, uh, which of you, by taking care, can add one cubit to his stature? And why take you thought for your clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They do not work, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these." Wherefore, if God so clothe the grass of the field, which it today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore, take no thought, saying, What we shall eat, or what we shall drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knows uh, that you have need of all those things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Now, Paul and Jesus are not saying don't go out and work. Don't go out and buy your groceries. Don't go out and pay your mortgage. But he is saying trusting God to take care of you physically. God takes care of his people physically. Let's not take God out of the equation. Even though they were rich physically... It was still God who was taking care of them. But also, God takes care of his people spiritually. In Ephesians chapter 1, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. God takes care of his people spiritually. Yes, through the death of Jesus Christ on the cross, but through his church, through the spreading of his word, through the teachings of his word. All of those spiritual blessings, the ability to approach God in prayer, all made possible by God. God takes care of his people spiritually. God takes care of us. Sometimes we sing the, the song, God will take care of you through every day or all the way. He will take care of you. God will take care of you. That's the song. He does all this pro by providing us the means to carry out his will. When we give we show how thankful we are to God for sending His Son. That's what we're showing when we give. How much do we value Christ? Do we value Christ enough to sacrifice some of maybe our own things in order to help others, in order to help the spreading of the gospel grow? Are we able to do those things? Or are we holding tight onto the riches of this earth as tightly as we can 
And in that, we may be hindering the gospel because it may not be able to go out as far and wide as we need it to. Paul's reminding the Corinthians, remember who takes care of you. It's not you. It's God. But perhaps you're listening and you're not a Christian. The brethren here in Toronto would love to study the Bible with you so that you could hear the word of God, believe it, and obey it before it is everlastingly too late. If you'd like to set up a study, you can send us an email at Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. On behalf of the East End Church of Christ in Toronto, Canada, I'd like to thank you for listening to this episode. For free online Bible-based material or to get directions to our meeting place, you can visit our website at www.eastendchurch.org. While there, you'll also find links to more of our podcasts as well as links to the live broadcasts of our services. Should you have any questions about this or any of the other podcasts you may have listened to, you may leave a comment below or email us at Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. Please join me, the Lord willing, again in the next episode when we will be discussing another topic from God's Word. Goodbye for now, and have a great day.